Good morning and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Champ and Rich. And what we're gonna be demonstrating for you today on video is Champ's ability to understand and respond to his formal obedience commands. The correction and lots of motivation that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded in his right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give any correction that's needed. And the only correction that we give here at school is a little tug and let go on the training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Champ has been fitted with his very own training equipment and he'll be coming home with that. Now he is sitting very nicely at Rich's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that they're gonna demonstrate for us is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash and the command is Champ heal. Now this makes walking your puppy in public a pleasure. Say that three times fast. He should be remaining neutral with your left leg. His shoulders should not pass your left leg when walking. And each time that you stop walking, he's been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for his next command. So if Rich turns, he should turn. And you hear Rich encouraging him verbally talking to him, keeping him focused. He's so cute. Nice automatic sits. Now the next exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is the sit stay. It's a hand and a voice command and because it is a stationary exercise you don't use his name. It's a one word command. You're going to practice the long sit stay indoors as well as outdoors and you're going to work up from about 30 seconds to all the way up to three minutes. This helps to develop in a puppy self-control and maturity. When Rich returns back to him as an additional distraction, he walks all the way around him, ending up right back where they started at heel. And at that point, the dogs expect to get another command. They've been taught that once we return back to that heel position, they're gonna get another command. <laughs> He's looking up at Rich. He's very focused. He's paying attention. Rich leaves him in another sit stay and again you're going to lengthen out your time with this because it helps him to develop some self-control. Nice puppy. This time instead of returning back to him Rich is going to demonstrate the come on command. You do use his name, you lighten your tone but he's such a submissive pleasant little dog that you don't want to encourage him too much because then he'll come in and jump. So. Just lighten your tone and call him in and he should come right in and sit right in front of you facing your knees and that eliminates jumping, which Golden Doodles and Labradoodles are famous for. They cannot keep four feet on the ground. <laughs> and Piper knows all these commands as well, so you and Robert should have a play date and work your dogs together. Again, Rich is going to demonstrate the recall or the come on command. Comes right in and sits beautifully. And then he goes back to healing. Back to heel position and back sitting. <laughs> Little cutie. And the healing skills are really important because I know that eventually you want to be able to do pack walks. He's very friendly. I don't see that there'll be any problem with that. And your dog walker should enjoy the fact that he heals very nicely. Now that's your down command. So with the dog seated at your left, you take your left open palm, push it straight down toward the ground and give the one word command to down and then stay. The long down stay, he can hold for a little bit longer. So start out at about one minute and work all the way up to five minutes. And these are great exercises to practice indoors. When Rich returns back to him, he will walk all the way around him just as he did on the sit stay and Champ remains lying there until Rich gives him another command. So that is your down from a heel position. And then we'll show you that again. And this is great to tire your puppy out, like after you've been at work all day, you spend time with him, put your video on, work along with it, 
and it's tiring for him because he's having to think. This time Rich will call him out of that down. Comes right in front and sits and then goes back to heel and back sitting. Very nice. If he doesn't sit, you see Rich give him that little correction and tell him no sit. <laughs> He's, got, he's a very soft personality dog, so none of your corrections are going to be harsh or you, you don't need to with him. He's just so sweet and compliant. Now this time, Rich is gonna leave him in a sit-stay. Stay. He's gonna walk out to face him. This is your down from a distance. Down. And it doesn't get any prettier than that. Now we have demonstrated for you all of the formal on-leash obedience commands. Your healing, your automatic sit, your sit-stay, your down from heel, your down from a distance, and your come. All of these exercises you'll be practicing at home and he's going to be get better and better at doing them. We've really enjoyed having him and thank you for trusting us with your baby here at Nora's Dog Training Company.